This is the Power BI and More podcast from CRM Audio with Business Solutions MVPs Scott Sewell and Joel Lindstrom. Do you have data? If you do, you need Kingsway Soft. Kingsway Soft is a leading integration solution provider offering software solutions that make data integration affordable and painlessly easy. Thousands of enterprise clients from over 70 countries and regions rely on Kingsway Soft to integrate data with various business systems in order to drive their business efficiency and fully leverage their information assets. Kingsway Soft works easily within the SSIS platform to make your integration processes as quick and easy as possible. Many of the clients have seen three to ten times greater data integration performance after switching to the SSIS integration platform. We'd like to thank Kingsway Soft for sponsoring Power BI and more from CRM Audio. <laughs> Mr. Sewell, how's your world touring been? Oh, it's been great. We had the one, the event in New York, and like like we did last week, we had the uh, the chance to catch up with a couple of people from the product team, and that was a that was a really uh, enjoyable thing. And and I tell you what, the excitement around Power BI is kind of off the charts at the moment. So it was fun to be be there with them and with uh, some other fellow New Yorkers that are all excited about it. And by the time you hear this, I should be in the, in Toronto for the second edition of this. But uh, we're so this about is that. like this is like baseball, where you you go to Toronto and then you can call it the World Tour. That's exactly right. You have to step or across like, the border. Or like you got you got that small airport like in Greenville, South Carolina, that flies to like one, one other country and they, it's an international airport. Yep. That's exactly right. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a way of making it sound, uh, original and, uh, sounds international all at the same time. I'm just trying to figure out a way that I can get to the Sydney of ish, Sydney version of this. That's right. Well, you know, if only we knew some people in Australia, if only I could, I'll go down and sleep on George's couch. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and then next week we got the the big UG summits coming up. What are you going to be doing there? Oh man, that's always a great. That's always something I look forward to every year. This is that's been one of the the highlights of being a part of the CRM and uh, Dynamics communities for the last many years. Um, it's a we'll be going down to Nashville, or as we like to call it, Nash Vegas, and uh, be meeting with a lot of the teams there from both CRM and Power BI. I don't think it's actually a Power BI event as much as there are Power BI related events there. There is a track that has Power BI, but since um, it's really related to so many other of the applications in the dynamic stack that it's, uh, it, I think they've done the right, the right thing by saying this is not a separate stack that has to be, you know, partitioned off on its own group, but, people in all the other communities will want to take advantage of what's going on in this, uh, in the power BI track. So if you're there, if you're there with us in Nashville, um, break free of your, of the traditional CRM, AX, NAV, GP stack, uh, sessions and come over and join us in some of the power BI sessions. I'm going to be leading a session on, uh, CRM, uh, for CRM plus, or what is it? CRM plus, Machine learning plus Power BI for normal people, um, and we'll uh, we'll be in, engaged in that and talk a little bit about that. Also, be a, I've got a community theater on Tuesday night, and then also we're doing our our Serum Audio Meetup. Yeah, I guess definitely. What day is that? Tuesday. That's on uh, no, that's on Thursday at one forty five. Thursday. Okay. So Power, and power then, BI uh, is like catch it. It goes with everything. It goes with everything. I don't know that I would say that. I would say that the ketchup goes with everything. I was going to say mayonnaise, but that would probably disgust That's several people. We used to say as a kid, we would say, I eat that with relish, even though you meant like it's kind of sort of a double meaning of that. You eat ice cream with relish. <laughs> um, so, uh, but uh, one of the fun parts will be is uh, some of the hybrid sessions like you and I are going to do together. That's right. I'm going to be joining you for the session on. Uh, surveys. That's right. Uh, the we're going to be surveying monkeys. What is it? I forget the How does it work? How to how make uh, voice of the customer better than survey monkey. And so, uh, okay. So how many, so no survey, no, no monkeys will be no surveyed. No monkeys were harmed or surveyed during the making of this session. But, okay. Very but, good. Uh, so yeah, you and I'll be uh, joining, joining forces. Yeah. And so 
Voice the customer is one of those new survey, new uh, solutions that was introduced within the last year or so, and uh, it's really a good solution. But the documentation on it is kind of lacking, especially when it gets to how the data is stored and how to use it. So, I think we found some you know some interesting things in how the data is stored. So, from a general standpoint, Scott, how is the data stored for Voice of the customer when somebody responds to a survey? Holy moly! There are tables everywhere. <laughs> It's a, it is a plethora of ta- a co- veritable cornucopia of, of entities that are involved in the voice of right. the customer. But, uh, but in general, I mean, you think about it from a, a hierarchical perspective. You got this this one structure over here that's the quest the uh, surveys and then the questions and then some supporting tables associated with them. And then on the other side, there's the responses. So there's a survey response. And then uh, response questions or question responses, and so the data that comes back in. So you you build your survey, you publish it, and then then in separate tables you got the data coming back from customers coming into or co- from respondents coming into those tables, and they're all related different ways, but uh, uh, it's it's the f- the flexibility of the way they've built this. Um, is great on one hand in that it actually gives you that flexibility and it's actually you have com- create some really cool surveys. On the other hand, that flexibility means that the data model is a little bit um, what's a nice word? I, I would I would say wonky, wonky. yeah, because you can have you can have eighteen different types of questions and those eighteen types of questions store the mm-hmm. data in different ways. So if you have something like a multiple yeah. choice, you have it one way. If you have a multiple selection or a ranking it's another way and, yeah. and then you got your 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 text answers which could be just paragraphs and paragraphs yep. of text makes it really challenging especially yeah. if you wanted to create one say power bi reporter dashboard that covers a bunch of different reports because how do you group it how do you make something mm-hmm. that's reusable without rewriting it every time you have a survey right um it is a uh, yeah we're you and I have worked on this uh, an example and it's been uh, interesting as we've tried to build that it turns into looking at all this flexibility would be really useful but you got to be careful not to take advantage of too much if you want to be able to report on it yeah not to take away from the session but that's one of the main points I make up front is plan for analysis before you build your first survey because you you might build a survey yeah. that doesn't give you the doesn't allow you or isn't conducive to getting the information you want back out of it and then we have some best practices for that we've 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 used before and some of our clients have used for example you have a reporting text field on the question that you can use to group group questions by other clients have had like a template they use with four or five standard survey questions and then they copy that or clone it when they create a new survey and that way you at least got the core four or five questions that you can you can dependably group by yeah i'm working with a customer right uh, this morning and they have a uh, a survey that has a lot of details on it and a lot of um, uh, text that they're capturing from the customers and it's it's been really good but what they do from an internal perspective is they report on it they just report on the net promoter score when they try to aggregate the data together so they say okay we're going to send out this every survey is going to have this net promoter score at the top of the you know at the top of the thing below that there may be some text things we're going to capture but when we roll it up and try to present it aggregated across all the lines of business all the regions all the territories all the managers we're just going to grab just that net promoter score and try to aggregate that and make that kind of the centerpiece and if you and then when you find a net a customer that's report you know that's turned in a one on your net promoter score you can click and drill down and then look at the specific survey and find out what the details are for that it's an interesting piece. I I think what you what you said, you know, really beginning with that end in mind, is so important because, um, just because you want, just because you can put all kinds of you know smiley face answers and net promoter scores and customer uh, energy scores and uh, true false and text, you may not want 
you, even though you have that flexibility up front, make sure you know what you're buying into it though, on the back end as to how to how you're actually going to report on it because it's not always as uh and don't forget smiley faces you'd, you'd like it to be i mean you did say smiley faces. oh yeah smiley, yeah i said smiley yeah, faces man absolutely. those things are awesome i think this is you know just getting into yeah. this preparing for this for this session has really kind of made me realize this is really powerful this is the first real solution that come quote unquote out of the it box is. that lets you get feedback from your customers directly into CRM without having to add anything. And so if you're going to be at CRM UG, come to the session because this is something that you don't have to go buy something else. You've already got this and you can learn how to leverage this and get that feedback and make action, get actionable data from your customers that you can use to better serve them, make your products or services better, et cetera. And Joel, when I when you first asked me to take a look at the data from this and look at how we would report on it, I thought, well, this will be, you know, this is whatever. It's it's fine. I'll take a look at it. The further I got into it, the more interesting it is, and the more I was surprised at the flexible uh, at what it offers. Um, and even as you got into it, you discovered some features that aren't even documented that are really cool. And uh, I hope you're going to be presenting those in the session. Uh, I was I mean, the uh, the third, the first, third feature you showed me was it just kind of blew my socks off. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll get, that'll get some excitement going for it. But yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, come to the session and any other sessions. Um, sort of a sort of a clickbait, sort of a of a of a tease, right? Just type Sewell into the uh, schedule schedule builder and sign up for anything that has his name on it. Okay, and and uh, and survey mo- uh, monkey. You can just type monkey in. That's a good one. Search term to use as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to presenting that with you. It'll be good to see you in person again, too. All right. Thanks, Scott. Have fun world touring, and then we'll see you in Nashville. This has been the Power BI and More podcast with business solution MVPs, Scott Sewell and Joel Lindstrom. This podcast is a production of Dynamic Podcasts, LLC. Follow Scott Sewell on Twitter at Scott Sewell. Subscribe to the CRM Audio Network of Podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, SoundCloud, Stitcher, TuneIn, or any place else that fine podcasts are available. You can email us at voice at crm.audio. Thanks again to our sponsors, Kingsway Soft and Alexa CRM.